Hi, welcome to GTEC Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about logarithms. This is going to be really interesting. So what is logarithm? Consider a value a that is positive and it is a real number other than 1. Then a to the power m is equal to x is the exponential term. We can write it in logarithm as m is equal to log x to the base a. Here b is the base value, x is the power and y is your answer. This can be written in logarithmic form as log y to the base b is equal to x. This can be explained in simple terms. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. In logarithmic form, log 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. That is, 2 should be raised to the power 3 to get your answer as 8. Let us see some numerical examples. Our first example is 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1000. This can be written in logarithmic form as log 1000 to the base 10 is equal to 3. That is 10 should be raised to the power 3 to get your answer as 1000. Similarly, your second example is 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81. Can be written in logarithmic form as log 81 to the base 3 is equal to 4. That is, 3 should be raised to the power 4 to get your answer as 81. Consider our third example. 2 to the power minus 3.88 is equal to 1. It can be written in logarithm form as log 1 to the base 2 is equal to minus 3.88. That is 2 raised to the power minus 3.88 is equal to 1. Now fourth example, 0.1 raised to the power 2 is equal to 0 0.01. Can be written in logarithmic form as log of 0 0.01 to the base 0 0.1 is equal to 2. That is 0 0.1 raised to the power 2 will give you the answer as 0 0.01. Let us see a few properties of logarithms. Our first property says that log xy to the base a is nothing but addition of log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. A second property says that log x by y to the base a is nothing but log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. By our third property, if our base and answer are same, then the log of those value will be 1. Now fourth property, log value of 1 to the base a is equal to 0. Let us see our fifth property, logarithmic value of x power n to the base a is nothing but n multiplied by log of x to the base a. By a sixth property, log x to the base a can be written in its reciprocal form by swapping its answer and the base value as 1 by log of a to the base x. By a property 7, log x to the base a can be written in simple terms as log x by b by log a to the base b. He, here, your base are same can be simplified further as log x by log a.
what is meant by common logarithms logarithms that are having the base as 10 are known as common logarithms the logarithm of a number contain two parts one is characteristic and another is mantissa consider the log value of 15 to the base 10 it is 1.176 here 1 is your characteristic and 0.176 is your mantissa part the main integral part of your log value is your characteristic and the part after your decimal point is your mantissa for mantissa we have to refer the log table to find the characteristic we have two cases the first case goes on like this when a number is greater than 1 how to find the characteristic in this case the characteristic is 1 less than the number of digits in the left of the decimal point that is the number of digits to the left of the decimal point in this example is 3 how to find the characteristic for this number which is greater than 1 there are 3 digits to the left of the decimal point hence the characteristic is number of digits to the left of the decimal point minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 hence the characteristic of 654.24 is 2 Let us discuss the second case. The second case goes on like this. What if the number is less than 1? How to find the characteristic for that? The characteristic for those numbers will be 1 more than the zeros between the decimal point and the first significant digit of the number and it is a negative term. Here the negative sign is written in the form of 1 bar, 2 bar and 3 bar. The negative sign is represented in the form of bars. Let us consider the example. Here the value 0.00123 is a number which is less than 1. The number of zeros between the decimal point and the first significant number is 2 hence to find the characteristic we have to find the number of zeros between the decimal point and add 1 to it that is 2 plus 1 characteristic of 0.00123 is 3 bar 